Alrighty, I have the entire press release from Cedar Fair about all the new rides and attractions coming to the 2024 season at Cedar Fair Parks. So we'll start off with the boring stuff. Okay, no shade. But at Canada's Wonderland, we will be getting Moosehorn Falls, a giant water slide with a zero gravity wall. This will be located next to the wave pool, um, and it will be a pretty big investment for a water park like Canada's Wonderland. But even more exciting is Schlitterbahn in New Braunfels, Texas. They'll be adding the first water coaster for kids, Bow Wow Blaster, on top of their kids area expansion. So there's a little kids play park, two little kids slides, and then um, the first of a kind, uh, I guess, kids water coaster, which is pretty exciting because I, I don't know about other Cedar Fair parks, but I know Wonderland's always the guests there have always wanted a water coaster. So maybe fingers crossed heading on over to one of the main parks, if not the main park is Cedar Point. They'll be getting top thrill too. still can't get over the name, you know, though, I will say. Is it odd that the name both works and is stupid at the same time? Like, I both like it and hate it. Is anyone else, like, on the same boat in terms of the name? Anyways, we're not here to talk about that. But Top Thrill 2 will be the um, world's fastest and tallest triple launch coaster by Zamperla. Um, and I know this is a ride that Cedar Fair and Cedar Point have wanted to reopen for a very long time. Attendance at Cedar Point heavily relies on this ride. So this is really exciting that it's coming back. Truly, I'm excited. Um, heading on over to Kings Island. Um, Kings Island will introduce its fifth kids coaster, Snoopy's Soapbox Racers, as part of the new Camp Snoopy expansion of the park's award-winning kids area so this is truly exciting news um they're working with new age vacoma one super exciting two a family boomerang coaster as a kids coaster exciting um i love it i was expecting that carowinds and king's island i know those two parks are the next to get what i thought was snoopy's racing railway but it from i guess what the sources were telling me they just meant a kids coaster in uh, snoopy's but yeah i'm excited i think it's great for the park and i can't wait to see other parks add that as well definitely expect carowinds to get it but heading on over to dorney park dorney park is getting iron menace the northeast first ever dive roller coaster um this is truly exciting for a park like dorney park and on top of it it's gonna come with like a lot of extensive theming um a haunt maze that's themed in the area as well and they put a lot of work um i remember one of my only complaints was the um flyers there being such an odd color next to this coaster but I stand corrected because in an interview with the park, it was stated that those will also be getting rethemed to match the area. So once again, Cedar Fair truly knocking it out with these additions at their park and truly retheming the areas that these additions go into. I think this is great. I would love this at Canada's Wonderland and other parks. And that is it for additions. They did say that food additions will be coming to the Cedar Fair Park parks um winterfest and halloween haunt events will be returning but outside of that cedar fair's entire press release i'm posting it on the screen right here does not include any other parks like knott's berry farm but knott's berry farm is also going to be reopening accelerator um carowinds had a lot of issues with attendance this season um again with weather and fury 325 so maybe they're going to take an off year um, or there'll be a much later announcement, but I wouldn't expect anything exciting. I can't, ex I, I can't um, understand why they wouldn't put it with their season passes. So again, don't expect anything big for Carowinds. But that being said, Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland, from what I'm understanding, do have some pretty big investments coming in 2025. Um, so uh, be excited about that. Um, and yeah, some festivals. So again, I posted the entire Cedar Fair press release here. Um, nothing exciting um outside of the parks that i just discussed so fingers crossed that more announcements come i'm not saying this to upset anyone but it looks like that's it for cedar fair um in 2024 i do not spare i do know not spare farm has an announcement i think it might be centered around food um and camp snoopy um or planet snoopy but um it could be a ride uh if so it's just gonna be a little kids ride anyways have a good one guys bye